Hey guys, welcome back to Archangel Ministries. Let me start this video out first off with an apology. I know it's been a couple of months since I've dropped any content, and I'm truly sorry about that. But <clears throat> we've had several current rescues that needed my attention, uh, as well as the healing process and the counseling and everything that had to be taken care of. Uh, so between the ministry raising funds for it, working a full-time security contracting gig, and everything else that goes into play, it's been very difficult for me to find the time to produce quality content for you guys. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, however, we will discuss some of the stuff that I'm working on that you can expect to see in the very near future on the channel as well as on the website in a moment. But right now, I want to get directly into the meat of what we should be talking about tonight. Uh, so, if you guys will remember, a few months ago, I dropped a video uh, that was about the dreams and visions that God has given me about what was going to happen to America. Uh, and we're starting to see this potentially play out now. Uh, hopefully you guys have been keeping up with some of the channels I recommended you following, such as Black Scout Survival and you know Canadian Prepper and things of that nature, and you're aware of what's going on in Texas right now. If not, let me give you a brief and very basic type overview, okay? Um, where to begin? We all know about what the government's been doing with the open border policy that Biden and his communists have been implementing here lately, correct? Okay. We also know that Governor Greg Abbott has recently said, you know what, enough is enough, and he actually directed the Texas National Guard to take control of Eagle Pass and boot out the Fed boys there, which were part of the Border Patrol. Uh, now, he has a right to do this, okay, uh, both via the U.S. Constitution as well as state Constitution, uh, because O. Biden has violated the U.S. Constitution by allowing an invading force to come across our southern border, which gives Texas the right via our constitution as well as their state constitution for them to act in a manner of self-protection, self-preservation. So I don't have any disagreement about what they're doing as far as that goes. But there's something else that we need to be very aware of, okay? Now, a few months back, if you'll recall, there was a journalist, I cannot remember what his name is, so please forgive me for that. Uh, I go through so much data and information, it's hard for me to keep up with everything. But Governor Abbott was confronted by an independent journalist uh, about his ties to the World Economic Forum and if he would renounce those ties and renounce what they were doing. He refused to. Now, where this is important at is the fact that we all know the World Economic Forum is comprised of a bunch of Luciferians, people that want to destroy the world and bring about the Luciferian one world government, correct? Okay, this is something that we know. But how does that play into what's going on in Texas and the inevitable outcome for America? Well, the Luciferians know that in order to obtain their goals for a one world order, the rise of the Antichrist and such, the last bastion of true Christian freedom, which is America, has to be destroyed. The, their version of Atlantis, their experiment they built, has to be taken down because we are the last bastion of freedom in a Christian stronghold in the world. And that's where this entangles with Abbott, the WF, WEF, sorry, and the outcome for America. I personally believe, though I cannot confirm because I have not spoken with Abbott, that he is playing right into the WEF's hands. Basically, America is being sought to be destroyed from within. The federal government oversteps their boundaries, and in response, the states line up to put the federal government in check However, this leads to civil conflict, civil strife, a.k.a. a civil war. This is not a revolution. A revolution would be all the Americans standing together and saying, hey, enough is enough. We're going to boot you out, try you for treason, 
you know, all that, okay? So this is not the makings of a revolution, this is the makings of a civil war. This is very key to the World Economic Forum's plans because look at the climate that we are in right now. Russia, China, Iran, the Houthis, Yemen, all of that. What's going on in Israel, all the stuff, right? America is in a very weakened position. If a civil war were to take place here, then there would be blood in the water, our enemies would surround us, and they would seek to invade us. I think that we all know this and understand this very well. So I wanted to bring that to everybody's attention, give them something to pray about, seek the Lord on, and ask if this is what we're viewing right now. I think that it has very real potential to fulfill some of the prophecies and stuff that God has given me about America. That's the reason why I'm bringing it to your attention. Now, some of you may be asking, well, Jason, how does this apply to what you do, the ministry and stuff like that? Well, uh, I will try to explain that to you. Via what Biden and the cartels and the politicians, the Democrats, and you know even the Republicans are doing right now, this is human trafficking. Albeit, in most cases, it is a very mild form of human trafficking. It is still human trafficking nonetheless. However, most of the kids and stuff coming across the border, as I cited to you in one of my latest videos, you know, however long ago it was, uh, these kids are being given to known child traffickers. We have teams in Texas right now that are working on this problem. Uh, we have teams all over the place that are being faced with this reality right now, and the government is doing nothing about it. As a matter of fact, they are implementing it and doing it intentionally. So we have a tremendous workload in front of us. Where this ties in to our ministry isn't just the work that we do, okay? Uh, we have had some amazing Christians step forward and have offered to help us procure a property that is vast and expansive that we can build a set of tiny homes on uh, as well as set up to be self-sustaining uh, to act as a safe house and a counseling area for the victims that we rescue, all right? Uh, but we need some more support in order to do this. Uh, so I didn't come on here to ask for money or anything else. If God asks you to donate, then okay, yes, I agree. You should probably do what the Lord tells you. Uh, however, this is what we're working towards, okay? Um... Pardon me. Basically, if we can get the property we're looking at spanning somewhere around 90 acres, there are a lot of tiny homes and a self-sustaining community that can be built there so we have a safe haven for the victims, right? Uh, which is many victims are being trafficked right now via our own government, as well as the cartels and the pimps and the gangs and stuff that are involved in it, not to mention the Luciferians. This is something that we need to have established. Uh, God told me a long time ago that when my job as a watchman is done, my job will be to feed and protect his people, and I do believe this is a part of it. Uh, so it is very important to me to see this project through to the end and upon its completion, uh, which means that we are going to be recruiting more people, training more people, and everything else. So having said that, I wanted to let you guys know that one, I am working on some training videos and stuff like that, uh, field medic type stuff, firearms training, hand-to-hand -hand combat that is going to be on our website uh, on, in the members page. Now, I will release what little bits I can on YouTube and Rumble. However, for us to raise the funds and stuff we need, there's a lot of stuff that is going to be exclusive to our ministry partners and the members and stuff that join the web page. Uh, and there, I'm even going to do some update videos for you guys on some of our most recent rescues because one of our most recent rescues really wants to tell her story and show her appreciation to everybody that has helped out. So that is going to be coming as well. 
Um, but we are also working with uh, Dr. Greg Reed, Tom Dunn, uh, the guys over at Shatter Ops, uh, and Sherry uh, from Russ Dizdar's old group and everything else. And I'm going to reach out to some other people like Doug Hagman and stuff as well to see if we can pique his interest. But we are planning on putting together a training conference slash seminar dealing specifically with human trafficking, both traditional and non-traditional, uh, as well as doing training sessions that have to do with everything from outreach and ministry, extractions, counseling, the healing process, and I'm also going to be doing a segment meant specifically for everyone that's wanting to join the teams to do security and extractions, okay? So there's going to be hand-to-hand -hand combat, firearms training, uh, investigation methods, uh, intel, intel collection, uh, evidence preservation, all of that stuff is going to be covered. So it's a massive workload, but we're looking to it being uh, anywhere from a three to four day event. Uh, we just haven't decided the location yet, but we're looking at probably spring uh, for this to actually take place. So I'm hoping we'll have the dates and stuff set up here pretty soon. Once we do, I will let you know. All right. Uh, but in the meantime, I need your help. Okay. Sorry. My chair's making lots of sounds. Uh, as I explained to you before, my workload is astronomical right now, which is preventing from me making the real content and stuff for the YouTube channel and Rumble channels that I really want to produce, okay? Having said that, what I need help with is I need some people that have a knack for networking. Because to raise the type of funds we need, not only for this property and the building project, uh, <clears throat> We need to raise a lot of money for our rescue operations because our workload has more than quadrupled here in just the last few weeks. Uh, and I don't think anybody really understands the cost that it takes not just to do the rescues, the extractions, the investigations and such, but also to find housing for these victims and make sure their needs are provided for as well as setting up the counseling and everything else that goes along with it. So if you are someone that is good at networking, you know how to raise funds and get connected with the right people uh, to help us secure this stuff, then I need your help and I'm asking for your help. And I'm praying that God will touch somebody's heart and lead the right people to us to help out with this process. Uh, because our goal is to eventually have all of our positions in the company, uh, whether it be counselor, security, extraction, ministry, all that stuff. We want to make sure that everybody is taken care of and is funded in some way, shape, form, or fashion for the time they're putting into this. All right? Uh, I know it's a lofty goal, but while I was praying the other night, the Lord told me, that he was going to send us a significant financial blessing for the ministry. And I believe him when he says this. Because I know that it is God's will, because he's also told me that it was, uh, for us to be able to set up this self-sustaining safe haven for those that we rescue. I know that that is his will because he has aligned things and he has even told me so in prayer. So I'm reaching out to you guys and I'm asking you, if you have a heart to rescue these people, if you have a heart to do the counseling and the healing process, if you have a heart to be security and protect this facility or work with our teams to do protection work and extractions, I am imploring you asking you and praying to God for you guys to reach out to us. Head over to www 
www.archangelministries91.com. Send us a job form submission contact form, okay? Because we are putting a lot of time into our recruitment process right now. And if you have skills that can help us out, please, if this is a calling on your life and God wants you to do it, then I'm asking you, do not hesitate. Contact us, all right? Uh, if you're simply being called to pray for the ministry or donate and help us financially, then by all means, please do that. Reach out and contact us, okay? Uh, because I want to make sure you know how appreciative we are of this stuff, all right? And we want to make sure that our people and, most importantly, the victims that we rescue are secure, safe, provided for, and protected. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll have some more content coming your way as soon as I possibly can. Until then, guys, stay safe. Make sure your preps and your household are in order before God. And, you know, be on the ready. Stay right with Him. Make sure your household is in order. All right, guys, this is Archangel. I'm signing out.